All right, so this is exactly what you've never asked for. <laughs> So here's the deal. This is a bunch of crap that I've had for a while. Some of it's funny, some of it's cute, some of it's brand new, some of it's a little older. Um, but just enjoy it. You know, just take a couple of minutes out of your day and get in that zen moment and just prepare to have a little bit of fun with your life. After all, that's what makes it worth living, right? Here we go. All right, kids. So to start off, there was this uh, show on. Some people may know it called Survivor, and uh, I watch it from time to time. All right, I watch it avidly. But, but uh, the thing is, is that there was this guy named Greg on there, and he's a plastic surgeon, and. Uh, I really couldn't put my finger on this guy until the very end, the, until the very end, and he said some really stupid shit, because he was this uh, type of personality that loves to throw out weighty expletives, shall we say. No, he, he likes to throw out big words to try and impress people and and win friends and influence people. And this 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 is his deal: is he said him and his wife had a quantum entanglement. Now that told me right there, this guy a knows nothing about science and what the hell it is. <laughs> Two that he's just throw bantering about big words and and uh physics terms just for the sake of hearing himself talk and that's okay everybody's favorite subject is themselves and so you take that one degree further everyone loves to talk about themselves and during the final tribal council this guy greg uh all he did was talk about him and his love affair with his wife and blah 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 but yeah look up quantum entanglement I don't want to get into it here but it's funny it's hilarious if you think of two people in a quantum entanglement you will laugh your freaking nuts off or tits off or whatever you may or may not have off you will no longer have it because it will be off but yeah, <laughs> but this guy Greg just amused the hell out of me because he has no idea what the hell he's talking about, and he was just self, self-grandizing to a point of nausea, and it, it was it was it was kind of fun to watch, and on the other hand, it was really fun to see all the other little-brained people around him, the other survivors and Jeff Probst, uh, just, oh, he used a 50-cent word, oh, oh, my panties are wet, and, you know, it's just, it just see them falling all over him on shit he had no idea what he was talking about, oh, it was funny, anyway, here's a cute puppy. Okay, now that the cute puppy bit is over, let's get back to Greg and his wife. Now he said he was so devoted, so in love with his wife for the last 30 years. The camera swoops over to her and she is all back in a bus, Tammy Faye Bakered out, man. Oh my gosh, this woman has more plastic in her than a Zonda F. Oh my, you know, it's like every anniversary. Okay, honey, you're getting a nose. Okay, honey, you're getting some cheeks. Okay, honey, you're getting some more cheeks. Okay, honey, you're getting this, you're getting that. He may have married a woman, but what he's ended up with is fucking Frankenstein's project. Oh my gosh. And you say you love this person. I'm sorry, but I thought love was accepting someone for who they are. Not physically altering them into someone you wish they could be. 
Let's see a kitten now. This remote ain't working again. Oh shit. I put the batteries in wrong again.